case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1962, the United States District Court for the Southern District of New York heard a case, United States v. Calice, which focused on the applicability of federal public health and drug regulation laws to all states. John P. Calice and Westchester Blood Service, Inc. faced charges of violating the Public Health Service Act and the Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act, in addition to conspiracy to breach those statutes. Calice requested the dismissal of the charges on the basis that the indictment did not demonstrate any illegal acts committed by him. Nevertheless, the court disagreed and ruled that the indictment adequately charged him with offenses in line with the statutes. The defendants also raised concerns about the vagueness of certain indictment counts, but the court found those objections to be unwarranted as the counts closely adhered to the statutory terminology. Despite maintaining that their rights were breached during the grand jury proceedings and their evidence was obtained unlawfully, the court ultimately denied their motion to dismiss the indictment. The court denied the defendant's motion to dismiss charges, the indictment, and claims of illegal search and seizure, while partially granting requests for a bill of particulars and inspection of some documents. The return of material, suppression of testimony, and inspection of grand jury minutes were denied. Consequently, the defendants faced trial on the charges. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.